Joey the Placer Hillman improved to 3-0 in the Pioneer Valley League last week with a 28-0 win over Bear River here at Placer High. What were you guys able to do to hold the Bruins to, to a shutout? Well, I was very proud of our kids. I thought Coach Rodardi and the deep staff put together a great plan, and you know our kids really prided themselves in, in executing it. And uh, you know it was fun to watch us play a physical 48-minute football game. On offense, Frankie O'Neill and Clark Petromonaco are starting to really stand out as possibly two of the MVPs in the Pioneer Valley League. What's it like for a wing T team that runs often to have such a potent combination in the passing game? Well, I think it's a big part of our offense. I think um, you know. We, we have the combination of, of both being able to run the ball and throw the ball, and, uh, and, and Clark's been nails all year, and, and Frankie uh, has, has been exceptional, especially the last few games. And so, uh, you know, when you have a receiver that kind of level, you know, you want to give him the ball, you know, as many ways as you can. And, and luckily for us, we have some other guys to throw the ball to as well. And, and the offensive line is blocked well, and Clark's done a great job of executing. Clark was the leading rusher in the game. When's the last time the Hillman had a quarterback as their leading rusher on the night? Uh, it might have been back uh, when Matt Ross was a senior in, in 2008. Uh, he had some great rushing yard, rushing nights. Uh, you know, maybe Colin Burnett against Bear River a few years ago as well. But, uh, you know, we, we had schemed some things up for, for Clark to run the ball, and, and he executed him well. Clark's the Auburn Journal Male Athlete of the Week. What do you feel he did uh, to deserve the honor? Well, he, he made some exceptional reads. You know, he, he, he didn't always hit his primary receiver. He, he, he made some great reads Friday night and, or Saturday night. And he ran the ball and, and obviously uh, is the signal call for the offense and did a great job for our team. Looked like he had all day in the pocket to throw the ball. What were the offensive linemen doing good to give him so much time to find open guys? Yeah, our, our, we did a great job up front with our offensive line our, and our running backs blocking and, uh, you know, prepared for, for their very, very good pass rush. And, uh, our, you know, our kids just played hard for Saturday night. You guys are at Lincoln this week. A win would give you guys your third straight Pioneer Valley League title. Hillman haven't done that since the 80s when your grandpa was the coach. What would it mean to you to join, you know, that type of legacy? Well, you know, we, We'll think about that after after Friday night if, if we're able to get the job done. Lincoln's a very good football team, and uh, you know they, they do a bunch of different things with their special teams, their kickoff, they onside kick it a bunch, and, and, and pooch it all over the field. So we've been working hard on on those type of things, and you know Lincoln uh, Lincoln's been in every game, so uh, you know it's going to be a, a great challenge for us. The Zebras have had a lot of injuries lately. What kind of looks can you expect from them on offense? Yeah, they've they've had some critical injuries, which which is obviously um, you know changed their their starting lineups um, over the last several weeks. And you know, Coach Bean's going to have those guys ready. He's a phenomenal coach with a great staff. Um, they're going to be ready to play us. And and you know, our kids know that that we're going into a, a hostile environment down there at, at Lincoln. And so you know, we, we we're focusing on ourselves and, and getting better and, and and looking forward to a to a great game Friday night. All right, anything else you'd like to add, Coach? It's great to be at home.